We'll open... Ah! Oh, that's cool. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Dracot Media and welcome to another episode of Tower Simulator 3. Today I'm going to be playing with another bit of software that has been developed by the community for this game. Now I don't straight off the bat want to sound like I'm sort of covering my backside but I have to in these situations. Because I'm testing people's software doesn't mean that I'm necessarily opening the channel up completely to trying everybody's airports, trying everybody's schedules and so on. I've had a lot of messages since the Tower Companion video with people throwing airports and schedules and things at me and software and stuff saying, test mine, test mine. That's not the case. I'm going to be playing what I want to play and I appreciate you know the offers to try stuff but I want to bring to the channel what I want to bring to the channel so don't please throw me an inundation of stuff to test out and play with because there's only a certain amount of times I can politely say no thank you because it's happening a lot of the minute. Still, today I'm going to be playing with a piece of software called TS3 Assistant which is from the lovely user Curated Pile in the Feel There community or Discord. Thank you very much to Curated Pile. Uh, they've looked after me very well with giving me a few hints which I've got on my right hand side here just for doing a bit of a cold test of this app because I want to do this for the first time. I've made sure that I've at least downloaded it and that it opens and I've not tested it in game yet. I've seen how it looks to begin with. So what we need to do is set ourselves up at an airport. We're going to go into quick play and I'm going to go to... I haven't actually thought of this beforehand so I'm not sure. Let's go LaGuardia. LaGuardia as I like to say because this is one that we've played since the beginning of me playing this game. Uh, runway 3-1. We're going to go traffic density yeah, 100%. We'll go for a little bit of cloud and we'll go for, let's yeah, let's stay with midday actually, just so it's a little less busy. Energies design airplane set an airport database and we'll schedule preload just three hours. So Curated Pile has told me that you need to open the app while it's loading. So I'm going to go and open my files here. I've extracted it into its own little folder within field there. You can see there's a diagram because I opened it after my Munich session last time and we just opened TS3 Assistant and it'll bring up these lovely, lovely windows. So you get some strips, it's automated strips and there's a few options and things down here. One thing he's told me to look for is the green link being connected down here. So it's sorted, it's connected to the session at LaGuardia. Uh, we will also have an airport uh, map, I believe, at some point as well, which showed up earlier. They've got a lovely uh, sort of layout for all of the taxiways and things, and you can zoom in and see where stuff is. And, uh, you know, this is the sort of app that you have on your side screens, you know, on your left and on your right, if you've got them or on other monitors, if possible. Uh, but it's great to uh, to be able to have this sort of automated. You can see now, look, some aircraft are ready to board already. They're being boarded, and they are push and start. That's Delta 377 and American 578. Let's hop in. There's American 578, Target and there's ground. Delta 377. Look at that. So what this ground. does is Requesting it brings in uh, telemetry and data from the game itself and gives you a lot of information as a result. Uh, what do I do Bravo. to get the airport diagram open? Because I really enjoyed that before. We'll open... Ah! Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you've got airborne arrival, yeah, onto the runway, and then, ah, I like that, and then that goes that way. See, I'd have it going that way. I'd swap these two around, so have them like that. Let's apply that. Yeah, so we've got all of our departures ready there. Yep, these there, and you get a bigger amount of text as well, so you know what the call sign is for the aircraft. I don't know if that's how many minutes late they are or something. Uh, we can click this. Wow, it shows you all of the departures. And it shows you where they're going as well. Wow. So you've got an arrival and departures board. The gates as well. So they are ones that are occupied, I believe. Ah, that's how you get the airport diagram. So by clicking this. Okay. And is that an aircraft? Oh, so that's just a diagram, is it? So it doesn't show us um, the actual aircraft that are ready to go. Okay, I don't know what that is at this present moment. What's this? Ah, okay, so you can change the colours of it. That's really cool. Okay, let's play the game a little bit and just see how that develops, shall we? American 578, pushback approved, facing east. Delta 377, pushback approved, facing north. Let's see if I've got any cameras set up here. I've got the F7 Push camera the on the roof. Uh, we've got F8 down here, which looks at all these lots. Nice. 
And then the F9 camera is on runway 31. Okay, no F10 camera or anything for me at present. Okay, so let's head back into the app and have a look then. So, yeah, they're pushing start. Is that... Oh, what's the green dot? Ground. What's the green dot? There is a help page as well, which is very useful. I've had a quick ganders over these. There are dots, it says. Colour bar, yellow is waiting for something. Green is ready for something. Red needs your attention. Magenta is lined up on the runway. Okay. You get by the look of it, some dots. So we've got a red ground. dot there. What's American that? Five, seven, eight, ready to taxi. Oh, okay. So that's where you can sort of move these strips around and customise them yourself. That's really cool. The lock window on top button, preferences, yep, it's connected to that. Buy them coffee, I absolutely recommend that you do so. Uh, did we open our arrival runway? We did. Let's just add a bit of separation. American 5.9 and 9 are runway 3.1, clear to land. So the strips, runway yeah, they're automatic, so they move American based on what they're nine doing. Nine. Now, I'm holding control here to play the game. I have to be in the game and focus to use it, so I think that might be something that you have over to the side, then you remain in the game. Brickyard 4788, pushback approved, facing north. So I need to just scour through this help very quickly. There was something about red dots and green dots. I need to make sure that I figure this out. I'm going to leave all this as unedited as I can, leave this raw, because I want you to see how quickly you can or can't understand this in my case. But I've, I've read through this already, and there's a thing about dots somewhere. A green dot, there it is. A green dot if the plane is in motion, a red dot if it's stopped. Okay. A green dot, yeah, if it's in motion, a red dot if it's stopped. So American 578 is... Ah, it's flashing because they're slightly moving forward and backwards. Because they are really close to the back of this thing, you see? So it's sort of edging pixel by pixel forward. So it's green if it's in motion, red if it's stopped. They're both stopped, but they're ready to push back. Yellow means it's, it wants my attention. I really like that. And that shows you how long they've been ready for your attention as well, I'm pretty sure. I was sort of hoping that the airport diagram would do more, but I suppose you can just check the taxiways a lot easier like that, rather than, you know, having them all... Um, I'll show you what I mean. There we go. There's an American 599 coming in. As you can see, we've got all the tags and everything, but you have to zoom in to get some of them sometimes. Like, I... Look at that there, Kilo. If I zoom in on it, you have to zoom in a few times to get Kilo to show up. Whereas on that diagram, you can see all of them all of the time. Air Shuttle 6035, runway 31, clear to land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have runway this open. Clear I'm going to get rid of the uh, airport 6035. diagram and the help for now. I'm going to move this app over to my right-hand side. So I've got that on my right window. And it's here. You can see by the fact it's lighting me up so much. But I don't need to touch the strips now because I can see everything that's going on on that right-hand screen. It's obviously it's not made for content creation because you'd have to have it on screen effectively for you guys to be able to see what it's doing. It's great to just play the game and have it to the side like that. You can mess with the airport diagram, bring that up if you need to to get the taxiway. So you could actually turn the runway and taxi tag sizes very, very far down there just to get a clearer idea of the airport because sometimes when you've got the taxiway sizes it can be a little bit distra uh, distracting when they're a bit higher. So we've got aircraft on the way in. We've got a gap after that, so let's get some of these out. Brickyard 4788, runway 31, via Zulu. What is that second taxiway, actually? Runway Let me three, click this. Brickyard Bring this up. What is that taxiway? Whiskey. See, you can just find it out very easily like that. You could probably have that over on another screen if you're lucky enough to have three screens. Brickyard 3467, runway 31, follow company. American 59 and 9 air taxi to ramp via Alpha 7. Thank you. Runway 31. American 2131 pushback approved facing seven. east. It is all moving and stuff on here. So run. Endeavour 5438, seven. I'll show you actually, American is coming up as red on here, you see, because pushback they've been waiting for over east. five minutes American for that command. So we need to get them going. Endeavour 5438 pushback approved facing north. Yeah, it's really cool. So. We've got a grey section here in the middle. These are aircraft that are going to be sorting the runway. So Delta 377 is ready to line up on the runway, but they're actually going to be second in the queue to these lot. Or are they? No, Delta 377 is the next one to get onto the runway. American 578 behind them is then going to be the one that goes on behind them. So look, they're on the runway. They're ready to line up onto it. And they've been American sat there for four minutes. These lot haven't quite lined up yet. Okay. 
cool. I'm, I'm enjoying this because it automates it, but it gives you a lot more information than the standard strips in the game here. It's great to have them where they are, but the data that you get from these strips is really, really tidy. Big fan of that at the moment. Just obviously takes time to get used to, but as a, as a cold run of it, that's very, very good. Okay, so there's a bunch of aircraft ready to taxi. Uh, we've got nothing red showing up at the moment. It's all just yellow, but Delta 377 will be getting pretty impatient. Southwest 5808, runway 31, clear to land. They've just gone now above. Delta's just gone red because they've been waiting for over five minutes. JetBlue 732, pushback approved facing east. American 2131, runway 31 at Whiskey. Endeavour 5438, runway 31 at Whiskey. Brickyard 5632, stand by. Wonder what it's going to do when I do that. Pushback approved okay, east. the selected Jet aircraft, Blue by the way, comes up in this sort of lighter grey when you have it like this. Whiskey. Wonder what it's American like having it like that. Makes more sense to have it blue and orange for arrivals and departures. By. Probably helps, actually. If I look at my camera, it probably helps, yeah, not illuminate me so much, but does that matter? Ready to taxi. <laughs> I'm picky with illumination. Air Shuttle 6035, taxi to ramp via Bravo. Delta 2375, pushback approved, facing north. So Brickyard is the only one that's waiting for anything at the moment. We've told them to stand by. American 1415 is... Says it's at gate 17. Oh no, it's going to come in to gate B17. Southwest 5808 is now landing. So then we can tell American 1415 to land. I'm intrigued to see how we get um, how we get everybody on the airport diagram. Does the diagram ever tell you, or is it just a case of knowing that for the um, the strips, uh, the strips for the taxiways and things? So you know where the gates are, I suppose. Really good though, that isn't it? Really, really good. So 5808 has landed. American 1415. We've probably got a gap here. So let's get the first one out. Delta 377, runway 31, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. JetBlue 732, runway 31 at Whiskey. Delta 2375 is just finished runway pushing back there. Cleared for immediate takeoff and reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. God, look Delta at it all. Brickyard 3467, hold position. Gonna hold them, hold get them across. Brickyard 3467. They're going that way. They're going that way. Okay. It's interesting. There's a lot of information. And it takes a lot of getting used to on the right-hand screen. Because if you see just how busy this looks at the moment, look. All the aircraft in green are moving right now. And the ones in red are stationary. So we've got them. They're on the runway now. They're magenta, which is why they're on the runway. They're coming into land. They're on the ground. These are all on the ground and taxiing. So these are the ones cleared to taxi. Look, Taxi 31. They want Taxi, I'm pretty sure. Delta 2375. Delta 2375, runway 31 at Whiskey. Runway yeah, three Taxi 31. Hotel. Oh, that's hold, I'm sure. Hold position. Push and start for 5420 and 5632. That's what they want. Yep. So we'll ask them to push in just a sec once Delta 2375 has gone past them. Southwest up there, which Guardian is ready for taxi. Oh, not Endeavour you as well. With information, Bravo. Endeavour 5420, push pushback approved facing north. Push back approved Endeavour 5296, five pushback approved facing north. God, it's busy, isn't it, in there? Push back busy in that bit of the airfield. North. It usually is, Endeavour though. Five, two, nine, yeah, 5632's been sat for five minutes now. Okay, so I'm going to put that back over here. We're going to check the arrivals. America 1415 is not cleared yet. American 1415, runway 31, clear to land. And now runway they've changed. Cleared to land. So the American next takeoff is going to be Brickyard 4788 is the next aircraft to get onto the runway. We've got 10 miles separation, but it doesn't feel like a lot, does it? Brickyard 4788, runway 31, line up behind next landing aircraft. Southwest 5808, taxi to ramp via Alpha. One. Interesting route, Runway not really what I wanted, but that's fine. Aircraft. Brickyard 4788. And they taxi should be landing up now. One. Yes. Southwest five and they are coming down here. So we can tell whichever one that is. I don't know. That's a mess. Maybe LaGuardia wasn't the best place to uh, show this. <laughs> Let's figure it out. Yeah, 3467. Brickyard 3467, continue taxi. 
Okay. Continue taxi. This is a mega, a mega bit of software because it does it all so easily. And it, I mean, I Guardia literally ground. just unpacked it, put it in a necessary taxi. folder, opened it while it was loading, and this is it. It's worked. There's some great buttons down here that aren't in the way. You can look at the departures and the arrivals and everything. It's really cool to see. And that's per runway as well. So obviously we're using the single runway operations here at LaGuardia for this. You can look at gates as well, which ones are active, which LaGuardia one people ground. want pushbacks from. Frequency, Bravo. so you can see what, who's on what frequency. That's really clever. So you can see if you're controlling just one of these frequencies, then you can turn the others off and just see the ones that basically necessitate any action from you. That is really cool. Now, before we have any dramas here, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to leave it there for now. But I'm going to say a big thank you to Curated Pile for sending me access to this. And it's in the Feel There Discord. So in the user edits section, if you head in there, go and give it a look. It's really easy to use. And I literally just downloaded it and opened it and played the game. And that was it. A few tips that they gave me as well, just to keep an eye on. But it's nothing major. You know, just making sure you've got the latest build. Make sure that the little green... Um, Paper clip thingy is linked in the bottom. Little chain link is is green, and you know that it's connected to the game properly. Uh, just ensure that you have all the windows at the right size so you can see all the information. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Maybe this airport was a little bit of a busy one, and maybe not the right one to uh, show it off with first time round. But give it a try for yourselves if you've got multiple monitors or if it's able to connect to other devices. I'm not sure if it is, but. It's great to have if you're just playing the game. You may not always be able to see it and be able to look at the strips. That's why I like to use the standard strips in the game because I get to show you guys what I'm doing when I'm doing all of this and clearing people for certain parts of the airfield and so on and, and doing all this. So you get an idea of the overall situation. But it's a fantastic app for that sort of thing. And again, at the moment, anyway, it's free. So go give it a try for yourselves. Thanks once again, Curated Pile. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Tower Simulator 3.